life is easy. And I can tell you the weather as well. Get our TMJ4 app or just watch us every morning right here at Live at Daybreak. 82 in West Bend yesterday in Walker Show. 87, 87 degrees yesterday. Boy, was it humid yesterday morning at this time. And then quickly the front pushed through and the air dried out. And it was a little windy as well, but it was a fantastic afternoon uh, with that breeze and the low humidity, even though temperatures were in the mid to upper 80s. 68 degrees right now, about 10 degrees cooler than this time yesterday and a whole lot less humid. It is not thick out there at all. It is very comfortable. Quiet around the Badger State, even up into the UP. Things will be quiet for the next couple of days if you have any travel plans around the state. Waking up to temperatures in the 60s for the most part. It's 61 in Lake Geneva, 62 in Whitewater. Cool spots, 57 in Beaver Dam. It is 67 in Sheboygan at this hour. Around Milwaukee County, 64 in Brown Deer, Tosa, West Dallas, also in South Milwaukee. Franklin's at 62, and Shorewood checking in this morning at 66 degrees. The winds westerly at 5 to 15, gusting at times over 20, and the wind will be the, one of the main issues today. It's going to be warm, okay, very warm, getting closer to 90 degrees once again, but the wind will be very gusty out of the west and northwest. Dew points this morning, low to mid 50s, much more comfortable, not humid at all. You won't even break a sweat. A lot of folks came to me yesterday and said, why did I even take a shower yesterday morning? I walked outside and started sweating. It was definitely a Florida type morning yesterday with temperatures in the upper 70s and very thick humidity. Not today. It is dry. And in fact, finally, St. Louis and Kansas City getting that moisture and that heat out of there with that front. Dew points the last couple of weeks have been in the mid 70s. That is thick and uncomfortable. Today they are in the 60s, which helps them with their heat warnings that they've had to deal with the last couple of days as well. Tomorrow, Saturday and even into Sunday and Monday comfortable humidity it does get a little bit more humid on Sunday and Monday, but nothing overly thick outside. But definitely today, Friday and Saturday look to be very comfortable on the Goddard gauge today. We'll give it a nine just for one simple reason. The wind highs today around 87, but the winds gusting close to 30 miles per hour, so that could be a little annoying at times, but it will help it make make it feel comfortable outside. So it's not just that stagnant air. Those winds today out of the west northwest 15 to 30 plenty of sunshine all day long low humidity watch out for um, some fire danger things are getting a little dry outside the wind low humidity increase that fire danger so just be careful out there then for tomorrow westerly winds once again at 15 to 30 and plenty of sunshine and warm conditions it's football season i'm excited Today, heading up to Packers, 65 degrees for doing some tailgating early this morning. Uh, by 8.30 when practice starts, 70 degrees, 82 by 10.30, it will be breezy. 80s in the southern half of the state tomorrow. If you're heading up north, temperatures will be in the upper 70s to lower 80s and plenty of sunshine and low humidity. Just watch out for the mosquitoes. They're getting thick. For the forecast for today, 87 degrees, sunny and warm. Westerly winds at 15 to 30. Tonight, we'll see a bright full moon out there with clear sky and 66 degrees. Here's your seven-day forecast. The 80s just keep on coming. 88 for tomorrow after morning low of 66. 83 on Saturday. Now, if you're looking for some rain, the best chance is Saturday night into early Sunday morning. Unfortunately, not everyone's going to see the rain, and it shouldn't be all that heavy. We need water. And then 70s Tuesday. And Wednesday. Tatiana, is the hair better today because of the drier air? It's less big, yes. Can't okay, you tell? Good. See, yes. it's smaller. <laughs> Take care.